All right, let's see what's going on at the reset vector in Simix. So if you start up your target, it can be any target really, but I chose the first step Simix. Start up your target and then you go into debug and disassembly. Then you'll have the reset vector there. You can go to debug and CPU registers, and then you'll have stuff to look at there. And then we'll pull up a memory window once it becomes necessary. And you also wanted to uh, enable the reverse execution so that you can walk backwards as needed. So what do we see at the beginning? We see nop nop jump. So we just go ahead and step to that first jump. Then we see an assembly instruction putting 5042 into DI. All right, that's fine. You can see the change occurred there. Now another jump and another jump and a move EAX to ESP. Well, EAX is zero and ESP is zero, so that doesn't do anything then another jump, and then another jump. All right, now we have some actual sequence of code. We've got CLI for clear the interrupt flag. So if we step over that, well, the interrupt flag was already cleared, so no change there. Now we have a move of F0 into BX, and then move of BX into DS. So this is going to be moving into a segment register. So step F0, and now we want to look at the segment registers. We look at the system registers. We see DS is right here. It's set to zero, so we step. And then it says it's now got F00, which has a base of F and four zeros because of 16-bit segmentation working a little bit differently than what we've seen before. We'll talk about 16-bit segmentation in a bit. Next, we're going to have move of FF98 into BX, and then a load GDT from CS BX. So we're going to step there. And so BX at this point is going to be FF98. And CS has a base of FFFF. So it's basically going to be FFFF and then FF98. So let's go ahead and get that memory window now. Debug memory contents. And you're going to want to set that. Oh, let me move this first. You're going to want to set that to physical memory, so board MB physmem. And then let's put in this value. So one, two, three, four Fs, and then FF98. Okay, so this LGDT is going to be pulling from memory at CS is the segment selector, and BX is the offset into that segment. And the base of the segment is four Fs and zeros, so the offset is added to that. And so it's essentially this. Now it's nine eight, and this is nine zero, so that tripped me up the first time. Uh, we basically have to look right here at offset eight rather than offset zero. And so the LGDT is going to be loading up six bytes. It's going to have 16 bits. The bottom two bytes are gonna be the GDT limit. And then the next four bytes are going to be the GDT base. So we expect that this GDT is going to be filled in with this FFFFF A0 with a limit of 17 hex 17. So let's step, and that's what we see. Six Fs A0 and a limit of 17. All right, moving some constant into EAX and then EAX into CR0. So that's just gonna set CR0. Let's just step over those and see what changed. Well, we see that PE, the protected mode enable bit, was set to 1. So that means it has just transitioned from real mode into protected mode. So now it's actually using that segmentation. And then it's got some other bits that we don't really care about having changed. Next, there's going to be a jump through the GDT. So now this is sort of segmentation as we typically understood it. So it's a segment selector, which is going to be 10. And so that's going to be, you know, selecting something inside the GDT. So you take the bottom three bits, you shift those to the right, and then what you're left with is a GDT entry. So let's go ahead and put in the GDT base address into our memory window. All right, so this is the GDT and this first eight bytes is going to be GDT entry zero, which we said in architecture 2001 is invalid and is not allowed to be used. This is index one, this is index two, etc. 
And so we could, you know, parse all of that, but you know, what you're gonna see is the simplest thing that I said, everybody just uses the simplest, which is base of zero offset of, or sorry, base of zero limit of all Fs. So a big flat segment, and that means that if the base is zero, then this FFFFF7C is just going to jump to that. So you can see that the addresses thus far have been acting as if they are, you know, zero, 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 zero Fs, but because of the code segment selector being at base of FFFF0000, uh, it's actually, you know, in the higher range. So it's actually pulling from uh, BIOS code. So we'll, we'll talk about this in the slides coming up. So then we step through that and we do transition to 6Fs and 7C. And now we have a little bit more code. So moving 640 into EAX and then EAX into uh, CR4. So let's go ahead and step over that, see what changes. All right, just some bits that we don't know anything about. So let's keep trucking. Then we're going to see 8 into AX and AX into a bunch of segment selectors. So step, 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 step. And it's basically just getting, you know, set up that all of these sort of data segments, not the code segment, but all of these data segments are pointing at, you know, the first index in the GDT. So those are all set up. You can see that upon each of them loading, it was set to eight, but then it fills in the, the base, it fills in the limit, it fills in the attributes. So all of these are now uh, filled in from the GDT. All right, and then a jump to FFFFCE and another jump after that. And then this is where I said you can stop caring. So now we're going to see the thing just continuously looping backwards, looking for this magic constant, which just happens to be a GUID used for EFI file systems. So that's all we really wanted to see. We just wanted to see the fact that, you know, the system tries to get out of a uh, real mode as soon as humanly possible, sets some control bits, but otherwise just, you know, sets up a GDT and moves into 32-bit protected mode.